Hello and welcome to the example solves video for RAPS and scuffed wrap. This is made to clear up anything you might not understand from the methods from my tutorial and also so you can see the methods in action. So let's jump straight into it. I have CS timer in front of me to generate scrambles and 223 solutions so I don't have to do this myself. And I'm going to do five solves with each method starting out with RAPS. So that's our 223. If we look at edge orientation, we have these four misoriented, which can be solved with F, R, F prime, F prime, F prime, F. So now we need to solve corner permutation. I see our 2 D there, corners are here. So I can pair them up like this and put them in where they belong. Now I need to recognize corner permutation. I see I can align this corner where it belongs and recognize the rest of corner permutation relative to it. So by looking around, I see none of the other corners are placed where they belong. So I can solve this using an APAM. So if I mentally twist this corner, I can recognize which APAM I need to use and execute it. Now, corner permutation is solved. So solving the first two pairs, let's get this corner oriented first and well, rather conveniently that happens to make the pair. The other corner we need oriented is this one. So we put it where it belongs, back sexy spam, and then we find the edge that needs to pair up with it, which is here. Bring that into the U layer without breaking anything. U perm to solve that. So now we reach Rapper's first pair. So bring these pairs over here so you can just calmly ARF. We're gonna do an R2 to place this where it belongs. So orient it, we're gonna hide this pair into the back. Bring this pair back over. Spam sexy until it's solved. In this case, we need to do it twice. Then bring this pair back up. The edge is here, so it's the S U two S insert to get that solved. And <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to skip the last step because we have an L dwarf flip on orange here. This is what we would do for corner orientation, but here it's just going to solve everything outright. So there's our solve. Okay, so here's our second scramble. Let's get it done. And our two two three solution. Okay, so misoriented edges are here and here. So I can set them up with an R prime and then it's B, U prime, B prime to solve them. All nice. Now, to line up the corners, we see one of them is here, one of them is here. So to set them both into the D layer is as simple as that. Now, to recognize corner permutation on the top, I see you have the two blue here making basically headlights, so I put these where they belong. You can see if we were to twist this, we'd have headlights on the back, but none here, so solve our headlights with a T-pan like that. And now we're going to start making pairs. Now, I don't think I'd realize at the time that you had to make the back pairs, so I would just accept this as a solved pair and moved on. So the other corner belongs here, or the other corner that belongs as part of the pairs is here, so we're going to do x axis spam to orient it as such. We're going to find the blue edge, which is here, bring it up into the U layer, and then use a U-Pum to solve it. So now we have these two adjacent pairs. So, bring these over here, our slice to place the corner down, pair into the back, U prime, oh no, don't do U prime. Well, it depends if you want to do <laughs> Okay, so now we have these two adjacent pairs. We're gonna do U prime, bring the corner down to where it belongs, pair into the back, sexy spam, and pair back out. It would have been more efficient there to do unsexy spam, but hey, whatever, I don't really care. So again, we have the S gen insert, the S prime into S. Uh, if you don't want to load multiple inserts from on top, you could just AF into this insert, but I'm gonna do this insert. So, from here, we need to solve corner orientation and bring over here. And it looks like we have kind of a soon type thing. I want to orient this corner down here so I can have the D-Layer done, just have something on the top. So I can do that. I see this sticker facing up here with pure U. So now that's oriented and on here we have, and after that on top we have pure T. So do that and it's this analog. See if I can remember it. Wee! 
that's our second song, so let's head on over to our third. And our 223 solution is... Okay, so again, Petra's edge orientation, this is our only oriented edge, so the solution is to bring this up to the back, S R S prime, F R F prime. To place the corners, I see we have this one down here. So I'm just going to do U2R to put these where they belong. To recognize corner permutation on the top layer, I see the only corner where it belongs is this one. So again, I can use an A perm. And then to twisting these, I see these should be opposite because we have blue here, green here. Bam. So now corner permutation is fully solved. Let's solve the first two pairs. Let's orient this corner up here. Let's take this edge and use the U perm put it in place, that's the wrong u -pum. come on, I've done this twice now. <coughs> this edge up here, it's the same spam as always, and then another EPL to build the edge. From here, U prime, and then it's an R to put this in position, hide the pair into the back, sexy spam, and bring the pair back out. And we can rotate and... <laughs> do a U pen to solve this and then we can get this case here so we can either rotate into a U pen or I can put this over here do R prime to bring the yellow up top S R2 S prime and R prime U prime so here is our fourth solve for rep S and here's the two two three the bad edges are these three and this one so we're gonna solve this with f prime u f u f r prime f prime to place the corners where they belong we're gonna do u prime r2 u prime r prime and i see these headlights here so we're gonna put these in the back where they belong and these corners are already fully permuted sick and here we have one pair already made here so let's make the corresponding adjacent pair, we're going to do U prime R U to bring this up into the U layer. Put the solved pair at the back so we can't disturb it. And U perm to make these adjacent pair. We can put this corner where it belongs with U prime R U. And we see here it's already solved. So with the edge back here, we can do S R2, S prime R2. That will fully solve that. So now we have to solve corner orientation, which can be perceived as either raw T on yellow or raw U on green. I'm going to do the raw U on green. And our ending case here, recognize two unsolved edges in the U layer, this one and this one, of the E slice. Okay, so our fifth and final solve for wrap S. So our misoriented edges are here and here, which can be quite easily solved with U prime, F, R prime, F prime. We have one corner up here and one down here, so our U prime, R prime, we'll place them where they belong. See the headlights, move them to where they belong, and these two corners are not correctly permuted, so we're going to do an adjacent swap. Again here, I don't think I understood which pairs had to be solved, so I would have just seen this pair and gone with it. This adjacent corner is already oriented in the remaining edges here, so R prime into a U perm will solve these two adjacent pairs. Now, an R places this corner, hide the pair into the back, sexy spam, R prime U prime R. To solve the corner from top right, again it's S prime U to S. And now we have to solve corner orientation, which as we can see is an L on orange. With corner orientation fully solved, we reach our last four edges case, which again is this one, which is 
我了。Okay, so it's time for some examples of scuffed rope. So. So again, we're going to do the same EOCP approach as in ROP S. So we're going to do F prime U prime F to solve EO, and then R prime to put the D layer corners where they belong. Looking at the U layer, we have one corner solved in place, and we can recognize the U perm to solve quantum permutation. Now, at this point, we're going to try and do our best at not break pieces, although we will break them eventually. Um, but let's make the first pair. We're also only going to use RU. Generally, we're going to throw in a couple of S moves for steps we don't understand, but if there's a step that we know how to do RU, we're going to do it RU. So this step is included in that. So I see this edge down here. I'm going to orient this corner to be... Now, the other direction would work, actually. Like so. It's a little bit awkward to get you to this kind of pair um, block building, but... It's completely fine once you get used to it. Now, see the approach for the other pair. We're going to need to put it so that the pair is in the east slice, but not above the pair we just built. So this kind of shape wouldn't work, because if we were to build it there, we couldn't move this pair around without blocking this one. Or well, we could, but it wouldn't be fun. So if we place the edge to be across opposite to it, then we find the corner we need to use, which is rather unfortunately down here. So we bring it out, or we'll place this corner back down, pair up the pieces, and bring it back. Uh, we were quite lucky there that it was already oriented. If it wasn't, the way they would orient it is by looking at the sticker that we need facing up. So here we need yellow on one side and orange on the other. So we need blue to be facing up, and since it's facing towards us, we can do a soon, and that will allow us to build these pairs. Now, the third pair step, we still didn't entirely understand, so we will be using, you know, other moves for that, so we're going to rotate into a U-perm the same way we would for up S. Now we understand that we want something like a soon or an anti soon on F, so I'm going to recognize this and using the raw flips, we're going to do a U raw flip here. The reason we'll do U is because if we do T, it will fully orient this green corner, which will be quite bad because we'll need to misorient it later. And we need to misorient this green corner so we can get a soon and anti soon. So by doing U, we make sure this stays misoriented and this gets misoriented. So just like that, we now have a soon on F. We need to build first pair around here, and we need to do it with the yellow green edge. <clears throat> because yellow orange is already being used over here. So the way that we do this, I outlined in the tutorial video, we use R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, in that case, to move, a, to swap these two and these two edges. But if the edge that we need is sort of on this kind of track, like through here, then we can use the RUS alg. And here we see it is on the track, it's here, and it needs to go to here, so it will get cycled, we do the RUS, and we'll have the fourth pair. Center edge pair here is skipped, and it does tend to do that, so we're at the final step. Nice. Let's solve number one. Okay, so, scuff drop solve number two. Bad edges are here. So R, U, F, R, F prime. This corner is already where it belongs, so I'm just going to bring this one over and place it down like that. And I can recognize here, corner permutation is already solved. So again, let's build the pairs. We compare this up like this. So I recognize here, the way it's oriented with blue on top allows that when it's here, we can have yellow on this side and red on this side which is perfect because that lines up with how the edges are oriented so that will allow us to build our first pair so then again we can place this edge down here once again we happen to have the corner trapped under it but i just brought it down and put the edge back in here we see the color we need to be facing up 
it's blue, it's facing towards us, it's zoom. So that's how we get these two adjacent pairs on the ULED. Now, to place this corner where it belongs, and to orient it, we're going to put this in the back, back spam, and prime our UR. Again, the way we do it with the rough S, U permit into place, and a U move, and we already have corner orientation solved as we have an anti soon on the green. Now to build the pair, we have to use this edge here as it is. <clears throat> now to build the pair around up front and right, we have to use this edge because our alternative is this edge, which is already in the pair. And again, it's on this track. So if we do that out again, this gets solved. Again, the center edge pair gets skipped and we can solve the cube. Okay, so the third solve. And the two, two, three. So edge orientation here is these three and this edge. So F prime U F, F sexy F prime. That will do. To then place the corners where they belong on the D layer, to bring this one over here, R U2 R. That places these. Recognizing corner permutation, this one is solved in place and none of us are. So we can use an A perm here. So to mentally twist this, to do this A perm. As we can see, all the corners are in their correct spots. So now pair building, once again, this corner is already oriented the way we want it, and this edge is already over here, so we can really quickly block build that pair. And again, it'll be the same strategy that we always use for making the next pair, of putting this pair down here, this edge is over here, recognize the sticker here, in this case it's soon and those are two adjacent pairs. For the D layer pair, the third pair here, we have to rotate into a U perm. The corner was already solved. And we reach corner orientation. Uh, once again, we're gonna rotate onto green. We can't do T here because while well, I would misorient this, it would fully orient this. So we're gonna have to do U. And that results with this soon. To build the pair here, it's going to have to be this edge again, which you can insert with this arc, and once again we've skipped center edge pair and can finish the cube. Okay, so edge orientation, this is the only oriented edge up back. S, I, S prime, F, I, F prime. <clears throat> to put the corners where they belong, we can do U2, R prime, U, R. Corner permutation already solved. So let's build this first pair then. Uh, again, same strategy for second pair. So we place this corner down here. And again, we hide the pair, back sexy spam until it's oriented, and bring this pair back up. You pump the edge into place. And then again, a corner orientation. If we rotate to here, we're now on green. Doing T would fully orient this, so we have to do U. And we get an anti soon on F. And we skip the fourth pair, so we can go ahead and solve the cube. Also skip the center edge pair. Okay, final solve for scuffed rub. Oops. So our misoriented edges are here and here. So F prime R prime. F. No. F R prime F prime. Sorry. Then this corner is already inserted, so we bring this one into the back, insert it like that. We have headlights on the front here, so check in the back. We see again more headlights, so this is fully solved. Corner permutation is done. So we need to solve the adjacent pairs on you. Which can be done 
solving the first one like so, and then the second one by putting the edge here with the pen on the back. In this case, soon. And then we have the adjacent pairs on top. Now, we do U prime, that's R2 to place this edge down here. S, R2, S prime, R2 will place this edge over here. And we once again reach the corner orientation phase of the song. So once again, this corner is always perfectly fine. Doing a T would orient this, so we have to do U. And we have this. Now, to make the fourth pair around here, we have to use this edge into here. And the cycle will bring it directly into there. So no need for that, we teach R2. And finally, for once, we do not have center edge pair skipped. So I can finally explain the thought process behind this step. So by doing U prime R, we set up so that this S slice has these three edges on it, which are the only edges that are not solved on the cube. <clears throat> so from here, doing something that three cycles these edges will make sure that one of the edges on the back is solved. My personal go-to is SU2SU2. So from there we do R prime U, and we see we've solved this edge. We're now at the ending stage of the solve. So there's, you know, five quick example solves with rough S and scuffed rub. The next video in this series will cover the big boy method itself, RUP M, the real version. 